<laughs> Curiously, we have a guest in studio with us who is mixing two things, mm-hmm. food and music, in a very interesting way. So we welcome Chef Jason Piru. Yes. To the hookup on 96. It's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure welcome to be inside. Here. Mine, bring a plate and I I You know, that's the funny thing about it, you know. <laughs> all the radio stations I go to, I say, you know what, boy? I'm going to do what I had to do and so forth. Every DJ tackle me for food. Of course. You know, chef, chef, you know. But watch now. I cook, I cook in the morning. I cook in the right. night. Yeah. But then, and, then I'm bubbling, and then I'm bubbling and singing in, 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 all in the mid-morning. But this is... Like, oh, we talking in the day. Talking <laughs> in the night. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm telling it's not easy. Uh, so, uh, Chef Jason, we know you're from television. Mm-hmm. We know, I mean, your cooking style, the challenges that you have. Tell us a little bit about, I mean, the chef side, and then we're going to go into the music side. First of all, how did you get into food? How I get into food? I was actually a, a fat boy, a chubby boy. I love to eat. Oh you? Seriously, you love to eat. Tell you, food is my life, boy. I'm a man that sit down and eat a whole bag of chocolate just like that. Right. <laughs> and then, you know, the whole Adventure Cable back in 1997, they used to have all these advertisements on television for Outback Steakhouse and mm. TGI and so forth. Like and I used to write it down on a part of where I'm going. I used to say, boy, you know, when they squeeze the lime all on the shrimp and the food. Yeah. It's in all the basket. I say, boy, I want to eat that. Mm. Onion rings and stuff. I say, you know, I, w- I want to learn how to do how, how to cook. Right. Onion rings was my main catalyst to go to culinary okay. school. To learn okay. how to make that. But you know, I started to experiment and so forth like mm. that, and then I interest developed, and then I went to the Trans Big Hospitality and Tourism Institute, and that's where I did an associate degree in culinary mm. management. There, it's something that came natural to me, but I just excelled at it. Right. Got a few scholarships. I went away to Johnson Wales University in Miami. Uh, did an additional associate degree in culinary artistry, and then a bachelor's in sciences degree there also mm. in artistry. I worked across there. In in uh, some celebrity themed restaurants where we, you know, the Miami, yes, the yes, Miami yes. view of all them guys yeah. stopping in the Glorias and the mm. PDDs and so mm, forth yeah. like that. Mm. And I gained a lot of experience there. And when I, I came back home, because the cost of living in Miami is so hard, so I came back yeah. home and said, let me contribute back to, tr- contribute back to Trinidad and mm-hmm. Tobago. And when I uh, came back, the same institute that I actually went to school at asked me to come and lecture. This is um, Trinidad Tobago, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I lectured there for seven years and then. I said, you know, time to take it up because after a while things become a little monotonous and you want to change it up a little bit and take on your yeah. challenges. Mm. And I've I've been trained in um, in school. They mm-hmm. said, hey, all of you all will be chefs, but some of you will actually divert off to being showmen and television chefs and so forth. And yeah, so yeah. Train big those that industry has grown mm-hmm. now exactly. with the food network. Exactly. Yeah. And they said, we, we're going to, tr- we, we train you, we start classes like that on how yeah. to speak and how to talk, how to Excellent. dress, PR how to explain yeah. food and so mm. forth. So when you look at these guys on the food network and so forth, like Jada de la and all these guys, mm-hmm. well, these girls never did us, you know, the way they dress and the way they speak of yeah. the food and how they, you know, they taste the food. Mm-hmm. You got to get people enticed because food is something that is sensual. You got to look at it, mm-hmm. you taste it, you hear it, you smell it, it's, it's, it's bubbling. All these yeah. senses. Right? Yeah. It appeals to you. Mm-hmm. So, I, I always knew I wanted to educate people but at the same time also educate them on television and make them excited about food because food could be a little intimidating at times when you see all these gourmet things really plated out nice and I don't know what is that I don't know what is that yeah, 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 yeah. so I wanted to bring it across in a, in a fashionable state but at the same time a little uh, friendly mm. and I, I started off at the hospitality institute lecturing back in, nine, in t- 2007 and educating the students and so forth I during the period of the six to seven years I've educated maybe about three thousand students down wow. there throughout mm-hmm. their studies, and then I was ready for a new challenge. So I said, let me branch off, and I wanted to pursue the television. So, mm-hmm. I like things to evolve, All and right. music is something you can't really force on individuals. Mm-hmm. It has to That's grow so on you. You have to have an inclination uh, towards it and say, I like it. I feel right. this yeah. vibe. Yeah. yeah. Well, right? talking about liking it, let's see if the song is as good as you cook it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we, know the, we know the cooking one, but uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, Chef Jason. It's called Bubble With Me. We're going to hear it and see if, it, if it's like a two chicken, if it's a, a Korea, something. Bubble, yeah. bubble With Me. <laughs> Chef Jason. What? All the women begging it, so. Hey, 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 hey. Say about line, watch, boy. Watch, watch to go where? Watch now. <laughs> Just be thankful I had no video. Uh-huh. Hey? Excuse me. <laughs> Very well. I like it. And now like telling it. Kimberly that we haven't heard much Chutney Soka for the year so far. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm glad to hear this and it's on an album. Well, I'm glad you like it. I mean, I put a lot of effort into this. And for a first time, well, I should say a novice mm-hmm. yeah. doing it. Um, mm-hmm. I, I spent a lot of time and effort doing this. Mm-hmm. Putting it in to make sure it was perfectly crafted. Because I believe that anything that you do... And being that I do food, mm-hmm. I take a lot of pride ability, inside yeah. of it. Yeah. Because it's got to look good when you put it on the plate. Mm-hmm. So, so as they say that, and I took that to you, how you make bread and cheese look good? Bread and cheese looking good? Well, you got a little past the thing at the top bread. of it in you presentation. Shoot, yeah. shoot thing. You, you hear me start off the song saying they call me Magic Fingers. Aye, aye, aye. Right? The oh, about- there's the food. The food you're talking about. You're on a different wavelength. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> you're not <laughs> Don't worry. I, ex- I, get I, it from, I get it from... I was confused. I get it from everybody. I get it from everybody. But um, 
they said that Hawaii always had the ability to make food look attractive. Right. Right. right? And mm-hmm. um, you got to look at color in food. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And the way you present it and the way mm-hmm. your cuts, the way it is laid out. Because it's got to appeal sensually to, to, mm-hmm. the, to the people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And in music, you got to find certain tones, a nice melody, certain, certain lines. C- certain words appeal mm. to people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing as food. It's the same no thing, thing as yeah. food. Yeah. And we in Trinidad and Tobago, our culture revolves around music, of course. We have Parang Soka, Calypso, Kaiso, kai Chutney Soka, Rap, whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. Rap So. And um, culture is always, food is also our culture. Yes. We walk through our markets and as a foreigner, you could see different ingredients of what mm-hmm. you yeah. could tell the different heritage that we have in here. Right. S- Syrian, Chinese, African, mm. Indian, whatever the case may be. So, when you cook and you put together all these ingredients together, it should reflect who you are mm-hmm. and also the people around you. When we go to FETS, say in Trinidad and Tobago, we have all inclusive FETS. The two main things is what? Food and yeah. music. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So we, we have a climate, we have a cultural climate here in Trinidad and Tobago that appreciates that. And this is why I believe as a human being and also as a Trinidadian, you could co- contribute to the, our cultural climate here in Trinidad and Tobago any way and form and manner. Mm-hmm. And once you have an art form or something to share with people, mm-hmm. whether it be dance, whether it be poem, whether it be song, mm-hmm. even if you build cupboards, you could add to our your framework. Flavor, and, your right? And, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. and this is I just wanted to urge everyone out there, if you have a passion for something or you like something, you could either keep it inside or you could speak about it or just say, well, I want to do this. So get up on your feet mm-hmm. and do it. Yeah. And try it. And not only be, um, a lot of people just want to follow. Yeah. Exactly. They, as you just said, put your Make own, your this own is mark. where you come from. Is, we yeah. are so creative here in TNT and I don't know why we tend to follow. Because yeah. how do I come up with food? Just like how an artist will spend countless hours in the night right. sitting on a sofa and doing this, I do like this, crash over, we start again and so mm-hmm. forth. Yeah. I go inside a fanatic kitchen studio and we experiment and we do things right. over and over. And we right. say, we don't like that. Let me change the currants to cranberries. Let me use a different sauce here. Let us use this one here. Yeah. Let's use this protein. Let's slice it this way. And that is what, uh, when people see it, it's love at first bite. Mm. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. Wow. <laughs> well, passion, you heard from passion, Chef passion. Jason Peru. Jason, we really wish you luck. Um, as you're entering as well, the Chutney Soka Monarchs, we wish you Imagine luck. That. If you're Big coming to one boys. Else, and if it's food especially, feel free. I just want to tell everyone. We need some um, tasters, you know, we're, we're always here. <laughs> Alright, alright, alright. You, <laughs> you see, as a chef, we have been taught you don't just bring food to people just so. Uh-huh. You gotta find all the dietary constraints. Okay. Uh-huh. So suppose you don't suppose you don't eat beef. No, I eat so, everything. Everything. You're like a dunce. She's a block nothing. <laughs> but just want to let everyone know, um, you know, thanks for all the support I've mm-hmm. uh, been getting on um, all the, the local circuits here in Trinidad and Tobago. Chutney Soka is a fusion of uh, two genres and we it's a young it's a young art form mm-hmm. and we have to embrace it because it is our own here in Trinidad and Tobago, right? And push it to the people there because just as you say that you haven't been hearing too much about right. it we got to get it on the airwaves a little more and so forth like mm-hmm. that and uh, I want to say thanks to the support thanks to Kiai thanks to Stinky Vikash Rishi Kelvin all these guys that really put effort into putting me out there thanks to the support groups who have been helping me on the social media um, been whatsapping me the inbox you know all the DJs out there right. um, the video will be coming out this Friday ah. the 19th YouTube um, I'm li- I'm launching it live on Win TV, okay. and then it will be on YouTube after. Right, like well, that. we'll definitely right. look at it. Right, there. so yeah, you don't want to miss the video <laughs> because if you hear the lyrics in the song, yeah, right. you want to see it interpreted That's visually. Right. That's right. right. So, That's right. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> but Jason, thank you so much. Sorry, Chef Jason. Yes, you don't don't know many titles, you yeah. know. <laughs> Chef Jason, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us on the hookup. We really do it's appreciate a, it's you coming in, and of course, here. bring in Bubble with me. To the studio, and if you have, if you have space for two and fanatic, send us an invitation. All right, um, all the link. I'll take all the WhatsApp. More so, me and Kimberly. Yeah, I need to go from bottom up. Yeah, Kimberly, kind of in right. advanced yeah. stage, right? No, I'm. She know you're that bad. Yeah, boy. She really yeah, oh, things. God. She really. Are things in the kitchen. Trying with her, but no. We're the gas starter kit for you, boy. <laughs> we go Did you say that? Come on, bubble. Come on, bubble with me. I'll hook you up. Oh God. I want to see them magic fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so we have lots more coming up. Don't forget, we have uh, another guest coming up as well, mm-hmm. though. And we're going to continue right here, 96 number one.